And I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News update. A 20 year old man is now charged with assaulting an elderly woman in Columbia last week. Police say an 80 year old woman was just walking on a trail on Cradle Rock Way when Traquan Waller came from behind and stabbed her in the neck. She was treated and released from shock trauma. Police believe this was a random attack, no specific motive. Waller faces attempted murder, assault, and reckless endangerment charges. Investigators say he is in the hospital for an unrelated issue. There's now a new way to see your doctor. MedStar launched its new mobile health center on Monday. There are two exam rooms and a mini lab for tests, including COVID-19. It can deliver primary care to some of the most vulnerable communities Harbor Hospital serves. And the center will visit eight places in South Baltimore and Northern Anne Arundel County bi-weekly. We have a nurse practitioner that will be on the mobile unit as well as a connection to social services through a community health worker. It's good so that the residents can get um, quality service and learn more information about what's going on. Well, patients can make appointments or walk in on a first come first serve basis. Well, Morgan State University is now recognized as a historic site in the science world. The American Physical Society is now honoring the university for its contribution to physics. The National Society of Black Physicists was founded at Morgan back in 1977. And since then, they have mentored young black students in physics and technology. Morgan will receive a plaque acknowledging its great contributions. Lots of activity in the tropics where we have five named storms, two hurricanes, two tropical storms, and then one depression that has been weakening by the hour. But uh, definitely uh, zoning in the folks on the Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Gulf Coast as they are experiencing some of those showers and thunderstorms associated with the outer bands. That's going to continue over the next 24 hours with the forecast landfall happening somewhere within the next 24 to 36. Closer to home, drier weather with temperatures in the 50s for the morning, drive warming into the 70s for the afternoon. Daytime highs get to 73 degrees and we're staying dry through Wednesday. I think Thursday's mostly dry, a few sprinkles possible with our best chance of needing the umbrellas on Friday. We're looking dry and cooler as we head into the weekend. All right, Patrick, thank you. Click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.